Well, hello again, and this is another update on the flooding, since this is basically the part that I was at yesterday, and there wasn't really any water here yesterday. The river's on up at, at least two feet, I think, since yesterday. So, as you can tell, it's, if I can print it from last video, it's not a lot, the river's on a lot higher, and very more noticeably over here. Then I'm at Short Park in Newtown right now, which is within walking distance to where we live at. And if you're wondering if our place is safe in the flood, it, if the river ever gets to where we live at, there's a lot of people in a really bad shape because a 500 year flood, which is one that there's a 0.2% chance of happening any given year, won't get to where we live at. If there be a 500 year flood, we'd basically have riverfront housing, but we wouldn't be in danger of being underwater and we will probably a flood will probably have to be good five six feet above a 500 year flood for it to get to uh so a flood of historic proportions would be the only thing that could hurt be in danger of our house like i said in the video i took yesterday i was walking on this path right here there you can see how it ends and just goes into the floodwaters right there and I that office I'm not gonna be going there again today. You could barely even see any water yesterday when you're over here and the worst part about this is there is a road up there. You can sort of see a road close sign up there and there are houses that are back there and they're completely cut off right now but I'm sure the people who live in them are used to floods so they're probably prepared and either well supplied or they are staying somewhere else right now and the dog is being mad that she can't go on the walk and the trail we usually go on but I mean there's flood waters but she's a dog so she doesn't get it if you've ever wondered why people talk about wanting to stay out of flood water, I mean, that you can just see how icky and disgusting that looks there, right on the edge of this flood water here. And not a good day for baseball. As I was saying, like you can see right here, there's a pit, bunch of picnic tables out of shelter here, over here, and then we're at Short Park in Newtown. And you can see the benches themselves that are underwater. The tables are still sticking out and that garbage can is almost fully submerged. You can see the grill sticking up there. And that little post right there with a the green box on it has more uh, poop beds for dogs, which sometimes when I come here, I grab and put in the, uh, put her dog's old poop beds in the garbage and have the poop beds in case she poops it in because she loves to poop multiple times. Like I said, you can definitely, there was that road close sign up there I pointed out yesterday. I was walking down near where that water's at right now. And you can't even get to there anymore. Yeah, I think I walked again by the sign right here yesterday and pointed out where I was at. And that, that, that might be a way for you to get to the villages there because there's a canoe there or the houses that are back there one little spot of dry road before it goes back down. And this is more area where I was at yesterday. I'm on the Little Miami Trail, and I'm now near Clear Creek Park, which is in Anderson Township. And the rivers, the water here is a lot higher than it was yesterday. If you look back on my video I posted yesterday, you can compare how much, like I said, just a couple feet of water can affect when it comes to flood levels just how much more drastically high it is here. I mean, if it got much higher than this, I think we would have gone up probably another six inches or so, I would not be able to walk here. As of now, I'm still able to walk here, but I know I walked up and showed some of this little incline right here, which was a lot less deep right in here. I know as of just 24 hours ago when I was over here, it looks like all these geese are loving this water. They can stay over there for a while because geese are going to be mean birds if you don't know. And as I said before, usually you cannot see a river here at all. Even though I think it's on the other side of some of these trees off in the distance normally. 
like today it's a lot more like you can see the tops of some wooden poles over here like sort of out beyond this uh sign where you turn left at and i was able to pretty much walk up to that sign yesterday i won't be able to do that today but near that sign you can see the tops of wooden posts which have uh, ropes on them and that's usually a uh, separation for a gravel parking lot for the parts for the park here during the uh summer they have a bunch of soccer fields over here as well as over here although right now obviously we cannot get to it there is a little bit of dry land off over there here and of course there's all this over here but i won't like yesterday i could show you the uh picnic shelter off in the distance here today i won't be able to get to the point that we never see that because there's no way to get a good view because the soul's in the way and i'm up about to walk in flood water I once had to do that to do that before in a basically a very urgent situation at a former job and I'm not gonna do that again because once was enough for me. Like I said I have a video yesterday to, so you can see how much of a difference just two feet can make in floods. And as always, if you liked what we do on this on this channel. Give us a big thumbs up for this specific video and subscribe to us to see other videos. That helps out YouTube channels more than you know. So if you'd like to watch any YouTube channel, not just such, not just this one, make sure you subscribe and like their videos because that will help them out and it will help us out. As those birds are going crazy over there. But, and... And so, oh, for that matter, I don't know if it shows on the camera, but over in the woods I can see over there, I can tell that that's underwater right now. And it wouldn't take a whole lot more for this entire area right here to be underwater, well, besides that hill. If it got to be another six inches, maybe a foot more high, then I'd be walking through water right now. Not walking on water, but walking through water. And anyways, until next time, I will see you when I see you.